I have more awesome videos, why not keep watching? What's up guys, Jason here, Aspiring Entrepreneur, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can put together a great looking end screen for your YouTube videos so that people continue to watch your videos. Look, you put a lot of time and effort into crafting and creating your YouTube videos, and your end screen is the last chance you have to get someone to either subscribe to your channel or continue watching more of your videos. So your end screen needs to do a couple of things to suck viewers in and continue them down the path of consuming your content and of course enjoying your brand and hopefully subscribing. Or if they're current subscribers, keep them on your channel. So I'm gonna walk you through five simple steps you can follow to figure out how to put together your end screen to make sure that it actually drives more traffic to your videos. So the first step is scoping out what's already working and what has worked in the past. This is a strategy I really like doing for almost anything creative when it comes to YouTube. So go to three channels that are very similar in your specific niche, channels that are as close to what you're doing as possible, Take a look at their most recent three videos and look at the end screen. Just take some screenshots of what their end screen outros look like and then go to their uploads and scroll all the way down to the first videos they posted or if they've been doing it a long time, go down six months to a year and look at what their end screens looked like back then. Then you have a comparison of what they looked like back then and then you have a comparison of what they look like now. And then the second step will be go to some popular channels and do the exact same thing. Ideally, these should be popular channels that your audience would also be watching. They don't have to be really related to your niche. So now you have six different channels worth of outros to look at and you want to look for some similarities and also differences in terms of what these other channels are doing and it should help give you design inspiration for how to do yours. Now here are the questions you want to be asking yourself as you analyze what you should put on your end screen and what is on other people's end screens. Are they using still images, live images? What social profiles do they link to, if any? How many videos do they link to at the end? Are they promoting their site or trying to get more subscribers? Or are they trying to get more views by just having videos up there? What's the main call to action with the end screen? Are they just talking and continuing the video with end screen elements popping up? Do they have a completely separate video element that pops up at the end showing the end screen? These are all really important in understanding how you should begin to put together your end screen. And once you've answered those questions, it's time to make a decision. Are you A, going to have a live outro or B, are you going to have a kind of animated templated outro. So the difference is the live outro has you talking. So this could either be you're continuing to talk and things pop up at the end of the video, or it can be a templated video that you put at the end of each videos. It, something like what I do on my channel, like this example where I'm not actually talking, it's just a nice animated screen that pops up and gives people an opportunity to interact more with content. And so that's step number four is figuring out which style you want to do. And then finally, in step number five, you're going to put it all together. Now what's really cool about outros now is YouTube really only allows for them to be 20 seconds, right? That's the maximum amount of time that you can put links to other videos or your channel or website links at the end of a video. So keep that in mind when you're putting your outro together, it's really only going to be 20 seconds. And as you can see here with my PowerPoint template, it's very, very simple to put together because really as soon as you figure out what your call to action is, you're gonna design your template like you can see here where I'm just using some very basic elements and some very basic images to highlight the videos. It's a much nicer looking experience than just a black screen. By the way, the topography video that's shown here, I actually got done on Fiverr for about $20. So if you're looking for some more advanced animated graphics, that would be the place to go. But I highly recommend only doing that if you see that that's what's working in your space. You don't necessarily have to have a topography video or you know fancy graphics at the end because you definitely want people to be focused and drawn to the videos or the links as opposed to being distracted by all the cool stuff. 
Now, for my small growing channel, I want people to focus on the topography because my main call to action on the end of each video is really to get people to subscribe and to continue to engage with content. So my topography video is all about the value that the channel brings, which is something I highly recommend everyone really focus on in their outro is saying, hey, this is what my channel is all about. This is why you should keep watching. And by the way, here are two videos or here are three videos that you should keep watching right now. And once you have your PowerPoint template, all you need to do is use something like ScreenFlow or Camtasia, hit that presentation and record the screen and then render it, you know, edit it, render it, and then you have your 20 second clip that you can slap onto the end of each one of your videos. And of course, when you upload into the YouTube interface, you can add the video elements where they're supposed to be on your template. And so that is all there is to it to creating a awesome YouTube end screen outro. So if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more tutorial videos like this one and videos about building a business from scratch. Over on my YouTube channel, I'm documenting the entire process of growing a YouTube channel and growing a business on the back end of a YouTube audience. So if that's something that you're working on as well, I encourage you to subscribe and join myself and fellow aspiring entrepreneurs on this crazy journey of building a business. So until the next video, like, subscribe, and keep building the business you love. Take care.